you guys like Math Mech? Let me tell you what. How about we go through an entire tournament where Math Mech actually had a seat at the dinner table? Wouldn't that entertain you a little bit? Let's dig out into this, shall we? PPG Otakon. We're going to talk about the breakdown from this tournament. So guys, smash your love and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Some boring stuff here. Let me tell you what. We got three freaking Tri Brigade. Actually, this is interesting because it was one Pure, one Zodiac, and one Lyricalisk. When was the last time you guys saw the Lyricalisk build doing anything? I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Do, do, and it's been a little while, all right? We do have the Duelist pack on the horizon here. Eh, give or take, like, what, two months out at this point? So we'll have to wait and see where that shapes up. But, okay, I see you. We had two Drytron in the top cup of this tournament. I've kind of noticed that, like, Drytron... They, okay, so between Drytron Virtual World and, like, the rest of it, it's kind of based on who's in attendance for the tournament. Because we know Prank Kids Virtual World are good top-tier contenders, but at the end of the day, while these big guys are bouncing around, you know, duking it out with each other, it just kind of comes down to which variant ends up walking away as the better build. So, it looks like for this tournament, that Drytron was the seated player here. Now, we also had Adding Nestor. Hmm. Well, Robbie, Towers is bad. You don't know what you're talking about. You're right. Evidently, I don't. It's not like this deck just won the tournament or something, Babaka, but all right. We also had the one Math Mech list, and in terms of Rogue, we also had Sky Striker. You all forgot about Sky Striker, right? Sky Striker, sitting down here with its one gauge at the tier two table, sitting there with its hands crossed, looking at you, going, did you forget about me? Did you? Did you forget about Kawaii o Me? All right, the deck still has sick moves, all right? It still does insane cool things when it needs to. It's just the rest of the meta, a little bit better than it. So I think it's kind of something interesting to kind of note that, unfortunately, you know, Sky Striker just isn't as good as it once was. I remember when everybody was crying about it. All right, let's dig on over to the deck list for this show. All right, so first place for this tournament is actually at Ignister here. Who would have guessed? I, I still will continue to make multiple video series talking about the frickin' pressure that the Link 6 puts on the opponent. This build is actually playing Dark Ruler No More's and actual evenly matched to kind of adjust depending on the board that they need to play around. Also interesting to note that we do have Rivalry of the Warlords down here also as an interesting tech choice. I mean, hey, everything in my deck Cybers. I don't adversely get punished for playing all those Cybers cards. Outside of that, the two talents feels I guess a little bit standardized. I know a few people out here trying to try really weird things, like trying to include Psalm Strikes in the build, but Timothy was not about that, all right? So, in terms of things, it honestly looks pretty streamlined. The 2-2 two, two on the Ash and the um, Nibiru's might be a little bit weird to some of you, but I, I think that that's fine at the end of the day, all right? So that's interesting stuff. Now, what else we got down here? Second place, Dry Trim. Now, Here's the thing about Drytron. We've definitely seen that Draconis has pretty much moved in and become a staple in most of the modern builds. Um, been a lot less. I also know that a lot more of the builds are now pushing towards playing the Red Eyes package here. Keep in mind that the Dragoon package gives you that play for, ho oh, ho, you got rolled. Now you can navigate and at least end on some sort of board. All right? I know playing more bricks is not especially ideal to a lot of players. Um, it's actually quite devastating at some points, but honestly, I think that the inclusion of those bricks round out some of your more terrifying matchups and make your boards a little bit interesting. I also think down here, the inclusion of those freaking Aqua Dolphins in that side deck. Look at those Aqua Dolphins. Look, look at the Mad Lad. Doing some crazy things down here. Hand ripping capabilities, by the way. All right, third place here. Oh, man. Tri Brigade Zoo. Uh, every time I get to look at this deck, three revolt, three imperm, super standard, double Karis. The zoo package is a little bit heavier in here, actually. Uh, of course, we have the barrage. We're doing the Rat Man, the Throw Blade, the Ram Ram, and the Whip Tail for board breaking. We have double Borbo, actually. So, something happens to your Borbo. Okay. 
not a problem. We have one shared ride in the side deck that feels very fillery. Uh, outside of that, this Tri Brigade, you either you play pure, you go for three Shirag, or you go, all right, I want to play the Zoo variant. You gut out your a little bit of your grind game. And you get the chance to kind of have slightly more well-rounded out games. It's really weird at the end of the day what Tri Brigade actually can do with its tech slots, but they are very, very well and interchangeable. Next up here, Drytron. Hey, look, another build where we're playing the Dragoon package. Okay, okay. This build, oh, we're playing Old Herald here, actually. So there's there's differences between like Old Herald and New. You The cool thing with the bigger Herald is you get to interrupt those bash summons, which I get. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you want. Nothing wrong with the little Herald. The little Herald gives you access to preparation, which is in fact a pretty freaking good card. All right, but at the end of the day, eh, it, it all comes down to your tech options. This one's maximizing on triple talents as well. Um, looking BLs for milling capabilities to get some better cards. Honestly, this looks pretty fine and dandy. I don't see anything really out of the ordinary, other than just the mention of Herald versus Herald in terms of the tech choice world. Next up here, fifth place. Oh, man. More Tri Brigade, so we don't actually have the Lyricalist Tri Brigade list. Uh, unfortunately, um, the picture cut off, so they couldn't really build it. All right, so we're stuck with tri regular Tri Brigade for this. Triple Revolt, this is, this is your more trap-heavy build. Um, by trap heavy, you do technically see more of these builds pushing towards the inclusion of the strikes in the deck, which I think is fine. Maximizing on the prosperities, I've heard some unfavorable opinions about prosperity, but I think prosperity is fine, all right? Um, there's only 13 cards in the extra deck here. Uh, sometimes you can't read things on deck list. So do with that what you will. Obviously, probably another Shirag, uh, maybe another inclusion of something else, but you already know, typically, as you look through 80 of these Tri Brigade lists, that they all look the same at this point. So, take note of that, alright? Next up here, 7th place, Mathemech! Yes! Frickin' Mathemech. So, Robbie, tell us in your honest opinion, what make Mathemech go burr? So, final Legma down here, all right? That beautiful fusion card that doubles its attack points and literally devastates your opponent in a very, very destructive matchup. So what makes this deck good, all right? Like, you leave this deck unchecked, nobody's gonna read the cards, all right? This deck has so many cool extenders. By the way, you died in Nibiru. I don't care what anybody says. This deck is literally the biggest Nibiru magnet ever, all right? like. You're like, oh, today I want to play Math Mech. You're like, oh, I hope my opponent's not playing the good cards. Well, also Super Factorial, the trap card, giving you those interruptions through the opponent's turn is so freaking hilarious. All right, who doesn't love the fact that you basically can trish your opponent on their turn? I love it. All right, so extending options, check. The ability to play the game on both turns, check. All right, like these are two of the biggest check marks that you want to see on modern era Yu-Gi-Oh deck list. And Math Mech did freaking better than Sky Striker in the long run. All right, you guys, you guys love to literally see it when it actually happens. All right, and then the last list we have here for top cut is uh, Deshaun Mitchell's Sky Striker list. Now, here's where I'm sitting with Sky Striker right now. The deck has definitely become tier two. Uh, I think in the long run, the Dragoon package is worth exploring. Uh, I'm not going to discredit that. I think that's actually a very good idea. What I actually am always curious about is ratios on Red Eyes Fusion. We're playing two, I guess. You see it, you can make the Verte. This deck has no problem making Verte. Like, it's so. Oh, I made a Verte. Look at that. Literally, two monsters on the field. Hornadrones effectively turns into frickin' double of the token generator, so you can make Verte, so it's easy, right? Like, Hauk, it's literally, but you have to cut resources. I don't know if I'd really want to cut. We're playing two Kagari here, all right? But can't rag it too much. It did find success at this event, which is, in fact, good. So, guys, what do you think about the top cut 
for this event. I'm very freaking happy to see that we got the chance to get some love for freaking Math Mech. All right, all right. I know a lot of you guys love Math Mech. It's a pretty cool, awesome deck. So, guys, what do you think about these lists? Please leave a comment below. Smash it, the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more else content. And I will, in fact, see your beautiful faces back here later on the day of some more cool content. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Van Call 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by M Call 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.